Hey guys, Jeff here, Dice Sitters. Um, I will be in Vegas this weekend in case if uh, any of you happen to be there. Just uh, give me an email and we can sit there and shoot some dice. That's not a problem. Uh, the people who commented on the first one, um, I will be picking those people um, starting next week and hopefully record you picking your prize. No one said what they thought about that, so I um, guess I'll go ahead and do it. No, but no one said, hey, that's a good idea. No one said, no, that's not a good idea. I don't care. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, if you happen to get an email from me or a comment from me saying, hey, you won, just uh, shoot me back an email saying, uh, yeah, you'll be, uh, if you want to do that, it'll probably be Saturday or Sunday. Not this one coming up, but the following one. I'll have you pick your prize, give me your address, and we'll ship whatever prize it is that you win. Um, I was in Vegas last weekend, and I was uh, sitting, uh, standing, L2, and there was a guy rolling, and he was doing uh, cross sixes. No, he wasn't doing cross sixes. He was doing sixes straight. I don't know how else to say it. Um, cross sixes would be... Those would be cross sixes. He was throwing it um, this way. And I sat there right away and did the don't. And he goes, you're betting against me? I was like, no. I'm just betting for the banker. So you're betting against me. Whatever, man, just throw the dice. And he lost. And then he talked to me afterwards, and he goes, you know, why, why would you bet against me? I said, well, I know this table. This table's bouncy. Why wouldn't I sit there and, and do banker, the don't? I said, plus you're throwing cross sixes. And I said, that's not good. Sometimes you can sit there and just easily watch what people are throwing. And make a decision, yeah, we're going to go play banker, or we're going to play player. But definitely keep an eye out on that. That is, it's like easy money. Not all the time is it easy money, but for the most part, if they're throwing something that they should not be throwing, it's going to be easy money. I was watching, uh, I always watch YouTube. I have to be in the know, and I have to sit there and, you know, think about my channel, what I want to talk about. A lot of times we get caught up in this strategy, that strategy. A lot of times we'll get caught up on throwing on access, throwing off access. Sometimes you just got to throw... with the best throw you have. And don't worry about the other stuff. In the automotive world, it's called KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. We shouldn't have to worry so much about that. If you watch my long roll, yeah, I could have made more money. But I was keeping it simple. I could have used a different throw. Sure, I could. I was keeping it simple. Sometimes we overcomplicate things, and we really shouldn't. Sometimes simplicity is better. Sometimes. Not all the time, but for the most part, I think simplicity is better. I'm a mechanic. If I try to tell you how the car works from beginning to end, We'd sit here all night. Sometimes you just need the simple thing of you put the key in, and you turn the ignition or push the button, and room. Keeping it simple. That's how the car works. FM. You guys know what FM is. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. If you go, man, I have this great role, then use it. You know, I have the strategy that I don't lose that much money on. Then use it. Keep it as simple as possible. 
because if you keep it as simple as possible, as you're rolling, you won't have too much to think about. Oh, this is when I take it down. This is when I put it back up. Oh, this is when I tell the dealers, hey, take half of it off. Oh, this is when I sit there and tell them I want this. I want that. You're overcomplicating things. And you're losing. Keep it simple. Easy strategy. Easy dice setting. You know it works, so use it. Will it get you the most, you know? No, it might not. But you're keeping it simple. Sometimes you just got to keep things simple. Um, I was doing a practice roll. I started out with uh, all sevens. I switched to um, cross sixes turned down, not the one the guy was throwing. I don't know what you want to call that. Staggered? No, I don't know. And then I go to a one, two, two, one. Definitely the one I knew which would be better would be the all sevens. Um, that was the best, best one I had. And again, I just came off of work. Um, I really didn't expect me to roll that much, that good. Um, the odd thing is, is that I rolled three horn numbers back to back to back. That was odd. I wish I could do that all the time. Same die set. Pretty much the same placement, but back to back to back, three horn numbers. And the only number I missed was the four. Of course, I had to roll the seven while the puck was off. Not only did I have to roll the seven once, but twice. So without that, um, I would at least got my tall. But that's what you have in store for you. My camera is set up differently. It's actually sitting in the middle of the table. Not really the middle, but it's actually on top of the table. And a lot of you are asking about the landing zone. And um, I hope you can zoom in and really get a look at the landing zone. You'll see sometimes I just I just missed the landing zone big time. In fact, one time I just hit just the, the very edge of it, and it, it came right back at me. Um, but uh, for those of you that are asking, you know, landing zone, landing zone, this one's got the landing zone. I don't think my arm's in the way. Um, definitely you can probably zoom it in and sit there and watch that. But just to let you know, three dice sets. The first one is the uh, one, two, six, five. The second one is the cross six is turned down. And the third one is the one, two, two, one. All of which would work great at certain tables. But just because a one works great doesn't mean they all work great. They all have their differences. And it's really, it's all about me throwing. Someone might sit there and say, I tried all three and, and all three were bad. Try number four. So I could try. <laughs> try uh, try something different. But definitely, if you are dice setting, you need to set a time to practice. You need to have a time that, okay, I'm going to sit there and do this. I'm going to keep track and just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And you'll see yourself improve. Thanks for watching. And here's today's show. Thanks, guys.
One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Change the dice set. See what happens. There goes my missing four. My missing four again. Too close on my landing zone. The right die, to me, it looked like it jumped up and smashed the left die.
two, there goes the second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was with a different dice set. Try one more. And there goes seven. That dice set is not a good dice set for me or for this table. One last one. With this one, I'm trying to catch a little more air. Trying to catch a hair of air. And this is it. Stick with the uh, dice that you know are going to work for you. If the table's empty, it'd be a perfect time for you to try different dice sets. And then you'll realize that the uh, the one that you thought worked best probably will work best. But you got to try them. Because sometimes you'll be surprised that a uh, different dice set would work better for you. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe.